Programming Jewelry Explained You do not start from scratch. You start by making a circle the size of a ring. That becomes your foundation on top of which you attach all the decorations. It is like a rail onto which you slide ring components. The way you start programming on top of a circle in Blender is by applying a modifier to your shape. Modifiers are very commonly used for many things. I always use the Boolean modifier to create hard surface object like wallets. But the Geometry Nodes modifier is extra super special. It is like a blank modifier that is yet to be programmed. And in order to accomplish this, it has a unique visual programming language. Please watch several random tutorials on any geometry nodes topic and take plenty of notes. It does get easier after a bit. The input the blank modifier receives is the geometry of the simple ring circle or any object you got. It is those XYZ coordinates that will flow through your program under the control of the visual programming nodes designed to simply control them. You may subdivide shapes yeah, you can probably add shapes in the programming language. Or you can apply other shapes on top of them relative to the length of the shape that you are applying so that they are right next to each other. This would help you to create a chain. As to classical jewelry, know that a diamond or a stone is cut to a standard shape so that it can fit a standard seat. You should replicate the shape of whatever you will set and use it as a model to create that seat. The seats that hold the stone will need a rail to create a strong structure that won't break or bend. So when making a basic ring, you have to focus on the rock seats and the rails that make the ring really sturdy and also decorating them too. This is what you wrap around your basic ring shape, the seats and the rails. Now this describes just one kind of ring and you should use more than a circle. Put an arc on top of the ring for one Make the diamonds dance. Just to quickly summarize, you don't start with a blank canvas. You start with a simplified ring shape, just a circle. And then you apply components of the ring around the circle. Finally, if all you have is a plastic 3D printer, scale up your creations a bit and print out larger prototypes. And always remember about your portfolio. But once you create your first jewelry piece, you'll know exactly where to go next.